sometimes, you know how it is when you have your eight favorite outfit, you just, I'm just gonna put this on just cause it's fun. Um, so there are a few like that that just, you put them on and you just feel like that MC star person. When I started hosting Pride Fest, um, I uh, was working with drag queens who were always so very fabulous in their presentation. And I thought I needed to compete with that. See how the waist visually slims a little more? Mm -hmm. yep, that's what we're gonna do. I wanted them to be flashy. I wanted them to be able to compete with what the drag queens were wearing. Spine that was always here. important to me. We're just gonna um, bias bind everything. But when we got to Pride Fest, and I was like, this is a big stage, I need to go big like Diana Ross would, that's when we got more elaborate and started drawing concepts. And then the other thing we're going to do on this one so that it's not as difficult to get into is we're going to go ahead yes. and open up this seam and put in a separating zipper. Thank you. Perfect. I work with the Rocky Mountain College of Art and Design, and so sometimes the students uh, get to uh, draw what they want the outfit to look like. Um, which can be very interesting because they really challenge me to think outside of the box. There are some things that are avant-garde in the fashion world that I simply would not <laughs> wear. Um, I don't like to show nipple or too much. I like to be, I always say when I'm on stage, I want people to wonder what it would look like if he took more off versus someone to look at me and say, I wish he would put more on. So again, I, I believe there, you can have a sexy look uh, without just being tacky. I am pleasantly surprised. I am too. <laughs> I never felt like that my personality changed when I put on something. I would watch the drag queens. They would go from their boy self to their, their, their alter ego character and their whole personality would just explode. And my, I never had that. So I focused, I let the clothes do the exploding we, of the personality. Are we doing the sleeves? Are we starting low? I always say when I was 32, 33, I really started to like myself. Everything about me. I was, got good with the skin color, the cleft palette, uh, how I sounded, how I looked. I was really, I just became comfortable in my own skin. I use Pride Fest to get that energy out, share that story of love, positivity, and acceptance. Love who you want to love. Love is love. That's what Pride is all about. I started emceeing because I was helping drag queens uh, who could never get ready on time. And eventually they said, why don't you just emcee the show? And I remember walking out there on my first Pride Fest. And that was 16 years ago. There weren't families back then. Uh, today I see people with their kids, literally holding a little kid's hand around. Their, I don't remember families back then. It was a lot of uh, predominantly, I felt like there were more men in the audience that I was looking at but there just weren't so many different looks of people and sizes and ages and colors and different. I mean, when I look in that audience now, it is a sea of youth. It's, it shouldn't be hard to articulate, but it's, it's a beautiful, it, I didn't see that 15 years ago. People come to feel a certain way, to be out and to be with people who are like them and to feel a certain way. And so my part of my goal is to add to that feeling. My name is DiMarcio and I am Denver.